again basic you know construction this is my expression this is how I go about it but again really this all depends on what the expression is I don't make toys all right so today we focus on the tie down of this shot on the tie down it is really important to maintain what was working in the rough and not lose it in translation so to speak even better if you can improve upon it, of course, but without changing it too much. Of course, it goes without saying that at this stage you need to really control a lot of things like the model, spacing, arcs, volume and much more. You do that by flipping a lot. The onion skin is really a very helpful tool, but if you rely on it too much, your animation will morph a lot and therefore lose a lot of believability. Our job as animators, in my opinion, is the same as good VFX people. Our work really needs to be invisible for the audience to really enjoy the feel of the journey and not to be distracted by the animation itself. Imagine reading a book in which all the letters call so much attention to themselves that you forget what you were reading. That's missing the whole point. So to me tied on is really almost purely a technical exercise because what the shot needs to say was said in the rough. Now it is all about polishing it and making it understandable for the cleanup department and everybody else. Here we need to really refine and add subtle movements that we couldn't have on the rough, little nuances that help to make it more believable. Removing all the distractions, smoothing out arcs, spacing, and so on. I would say if you really animate something very subtle, you can and you probably should use the onion skin, but at some point you need to switch it off and really flip to see how it is working. The problem with the shot was um, it was very little time to convey something that is really deeply hidden without, within him. Because Jesper at that point, he doesn't know that he's striking a, like he's touching a raw nerve here, you know. So for him, it's just uh, like about making more toys so that he can get his letters. So it's all about that for him. But for Klaus, it's a, it's a completely different story because for him, it's like uh, he's he's like reliving the pain that he went through before which he absolutely doesn't want to do and he says like no no I, I i don't make toys not anymore you know i don't want to have anything to do with this anymore
Sergio, he's usually very clear in terms of what he wants. Sometimes it happens that he has not a clear idea, but then he goes like, okay, I trust your instinct here. Give me something that I can judge. And we just go from there. But usually he has a clear idea of what the sequence and the shots are about, what story points he wants to convey. And even though sometimes it's not technically perfect, but as long as you get the, um, the statement across, which is uh, <laughs> an important word, you know, statement. Um, as long as you get the ideas across so the communication works with the audience, then I think it's fine. The way he briefed it to me was try to imagine an ex-smoker or an ex-alcoholic who's like looking at something that brought him joy and now he has to resist, like he forces himself to resist it, you know, because of the consequences of it. So that's that's the way it was briefed to me, more or less. It's, it's, it's a while ago, so that's what I remember.
but I still wish I could have had a little bit more time on that shot, not in terms of like working hours, but a couple of more frames to do a little bit more with with his face, you know. And um, but I think it's it's clear in the context of the entire sequence, it will be clear what's going on there. So that concludes the tie down. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. I don't make toys. You make new ones. I don't make toys. Not anymore. <laughs>